اساسهم مايك ستايلي بودكاست اف اف ابيسود 1408 هابي فرايداي اتس مايك ماثيوز برودكاستنج فروم كافي اني واي لوكيتد سمير ان بودكاستر فالي مونت توداي وي هير فروم بايسون بنتلي فالنتينو مادام روتبيغا وي جيت تو ا سيجمنت كولد ذا نيوز بليد سيكشن ذيرز ا كابل انترستينج نيوز ستوريز فلوتينج اراوند وي تراي اند كاتش وان وذ ا نت A butterfly net. Mike's Daily Podcast. Butterfly News Net. Mm. Y- what happened? Mike's Daily Podcast. Yesterday, well, I experienced a fun time walking my dog. Basil the Boxer, he's not a log. He's a dog. And also, I had a fun time. being real bad no wait i wasn't real bad i was real good i was doing my job mike's daily podcast recording a show that talks about marriage and the host of the show mike's was a woman daily who had a bunch of single podcast single ladies all the single ladies yeah and i was like woohoo i'm happy i'm in this job right now <laughs> And then the women started to talk about how they all wanted to get married. And then I started to think marriage. Yeah. I've done that. Oh, speaking of which, look who walked in just now. Just now, just now. Hello, Michael Marsh. It's my double. The big I've been married 17 times, I think. Because you've been around a long time. You've lived for millennia. That's right, Michael Marshall. I'm immortal. Ooh. That's amazing. Immortal. Look who else walked in. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the banking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? We're playing a little bit of golf right now. Yeah. That's good. You need to, um, when you're swinging the golf club, make sure to open a window. Because otherwise, this might happen. Smash, crash, glass breaking right here. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I was, uh, I, I didn't know. Really And here's today's mm. podcast picture. Uh, I, I, but, uh, I'm confused. My advice to you, start drinking heavily. Thank you for that advice. Well, I don't have a glass breaking sound effect, but I have this. That's kind of a bl- glass breaking sound effect. All right, we'll go with that for now. Oh, I finally found it. Okay. Yes, you better open a window when you swing that golf club. What are you talking about there? Hey, sorry about that. day you're very welcome yes so i will not be getting married anytime soon why because i did it i did it before and i didn't like it no i liked it but the, i didn't like how it turned out i guess at some point i'll become more positive thinking and i'll go this time maybe this time it will go right but i have to find that special person So stop telling me to find some crazy or strange or some hot. I will find it eventually if it's meant to be. But it's not like I don't put myself out there. I'm out there. I'm out on the street. No, I'm not out on the street. I'm walking my dog, the wonderful ba- Basil Bob. Basil the Boxer, Basil Bob. Hey, I just came up with a new name for him, Basil Bob. That's a good name. So yeah, I will eventually find love, as we all do. I think, maybe, possibly, no. We'll see. But that's neither here nor there or over there or up there. What's that up there? That's, that's where I left that. Ah, just didn't know it was up there. Go! I'll go try and get it. Ow. The ceiling's so low at Cafe Anyway. No, it's high. It's... 
so high up the wind blows through. And then it does something weird like it rains at 3.30 in the morning and wakes me up before I'm supposed to wake up at 4. So thus I lose a half hour sleep. Hey, if the show sounds a little different today, it's because we're having serious computer problems and the computer I usually record this on has got a... Ooh, I wonder if I can play this for you. Ooh, I think I can because I have the technology. Listen to what would happen if I recorded on this computer. This is the amount of noise it has on it. Do you hear that? Oh, that's horrid. I hate that. Finally... Mike'sDailyPodcast.com The wonderful website Where you can go And you can email me there You can call me too 336-MM-DAILY That's 336-663-2459 Or just remember MM-DAILY Because I'm m M&M And this show is daily And There's also the PayPal If you'd like to help us out You'll get a special greeting From all the Cafe Anyway characters Including the immortal Madam Rutabaga Set this right, Michael Masu. I control everything. I'm like a genie. Maybe. Maybe. I am special. You are. Hey, the last show, I had the podcast picture with Shelly Shuhart and Basil the Boxer. <coughs> and I, I don't know if I explained in the cartoon, Basil says something like, ooh, the garden hose. That's a thing. Basil, the point of that was Basil the Boxer loves the garden hose. He loves chasing after the water when I'm spraying the plants and trying to keep everything nice and green in my backyard. And he, he just loves chasing after. And what's great is on the hot, hot days, I get them all wet with the garden hose. And then we go for a walk. And he loves it because he's cooled off and we can go a lot further. So that was the point of that in the last podcast picture. The Amazon link, too, is at mikesdailypodcast.com, as well as all the past podcast pictures. Click on that Amazon link. Buy whatever it is you're going to buy on Amazon. And if you go through mikesdailypodcast.com first, it helps us out. Woo! And then I talk like this. Like I'm talking to kids. Hi, kids. Hey, are there any kids listening today? Oh, good. Have you enjoyed all the sound effects that I played for you today? Oh, good. And the fact that we broke in all the windows at Cafe Anyway. Oh, good. Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. Okay, here we go. The News Bleed Section. Kids, the next part of this show gets a little disturbing. It's not my fault. It's just how it is. Donald Trump called the Russian investigation a total fabrication. Because Russia is the best country ever. I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. A uh, total fabrication and an excuse for the greatest loss in the history of American politics at a rowdy rally yesterday. Soon after news broke that special counsel Robert S. Mueller III had convened a criminal grand jury. Blaming Democrats, even as the Justice Department's special counsel has advanced his investigation, Trump said, it just makes me feel better when they have nothing else to talk about. He prompted an overflow crowd of supporters in West Virginia in a 9,000 capacity arena. And yeah, okay, you have, you know, he has a lot of people show up to things. So I don't know why he's so obsessed with the amount of people that show up to his things. He just gets, oh, there's so many people here. We broke all the records. Oh, and these supporters had to chant lock her up again because they're brain dead. <sighs> Get over freaking it. What? she Is she holding any public office now? No. So shut up. Why are they? Oh, such misguided people. So sad. What the prosecutors should be looking at are Hillary's 33,000 deleted emails, he said. His voice rising as the crowd grew more excited and as he decided to go, hey, let's go back a year ago because now is really looking really bad for me. And I'm trying to distract you and make you think of something else. Because you'd be in jail. (sighs) 
Trump has said after the election that he no longer wanted the Justice Department to investigate Clinton months after the FBI had already declined to do so after a lengthy look at her emails. But as the investigation into his campaign's potential collusion with Russia's election meddling and his own possible obstruction of justice, he has has gained steam. Trump has renewed his complaints about Clinton, a unifying villain to his core supporters who I I just... I don't understand. I was listening to a great podcast, Minnesota Public Radio, and Kelly Miller, I think is her name. And she said, look, I'm doing this show today. I got some experts on. And here's what I want to ask you is, do you think voter fraud is real? No, no. And I want you to check yourself. She said, check yourself before you wreck yourself and go look. Is it because what I'm being fed by Breitbart? Tells me that there's voter fraud Or is there really Let's break it down Break it down Break it down Voter fraud And people were calling up With these kind of Reasons for voter fraud They said Oh yeah Voter fraud exists Because My son Got A ballot In the mail Because he's uh, Voting in absentia And I almost Opened up the ballot And voted And sent it in And if I would have done that I would have been I would have done it, voted illegally, and see, it can happen, so there's voter fraud. First off, it takes so much effort. Do you know how lazy the average American is? We are very lazy people. It's not, well, maybe it's not we're lazy. We're just busy with so much stuff going on in our lives. And, oh, my God, we got to get home and watch Game of Stupid Thrones. What the hell? And... Mike, you should watch it. You'll you'd like it. No, I hear they kill off the, they they behead like the main character the first season. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see beheadings. That's just me. I want to be positive so that someday I can get married to that and be positive about marriage. Trump also seemed to narrow the scope of his defense against the allegations now that it is known that his son, Donald Donald Jr., son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and former campaign chairman Paul Manafort met last year with a Russian attorney said to have incriminating material against Clinton provided by the Russian government. Trump previously has insisted that no one in his campaign had met with any Russians. On Thursday, he simply said Russians were not in his campaign. Most people know... There were no Russians in our campaign, he said. There never were. We didn't win because of Russia. We won because of you. To the cheers of the crowd. That story came to us from the Tribune Washington Bureau and Noah Beerman. So you know it's true because he drinks beer. Jason Silverstein of the New York Daily News wrote, The Senate can agree on one cause saving Robert Mueller. Senators unveiled two bipartisan bills Bipartisan, my friend Do you know how difficult today In today's world it is To have anything bipartisan Well they're, They have been formed to protect Mueller The special counsel leading the federal probe Into the Trump campaign And They are To protect a, From a potential firing By President Trump the bills come after months of speculation that Trump might give Mueller a heave-ho, as he did for James Comey. They were introduced just hours before news broke that Mueller has impaneled a grand jury for his investigation. The measures suggest two different tactics to ensure Trump could not oust Mueller without a fight like he did with Comey. It makes me mildly nauseous. One bill from Senator Lindsey Graham a Republican from South Carolina, and Cory Booker, a Democrat of New Jersey, says the Justice Department officials who would be tasked with firing Mueller would have to make their case before a judicial panel before doing so. The the other measure from Tom Tillis, a senator from... uh, and a Republican from North Carolina, and Chris Coons, a Democrat of Delaware... Uh, of the Senate Judiciary Committee would allow Mueller to challenge his firing before a panel of three federal judges, but it does not necessarily stop Trump from axing him. The bills speak to the anxieties from both parties that Mueller's spot isn't safe as Trump continues railing against the investigation into his campaign's potential Russia ties. Trump refers to the probe as a witch hunt against him. 
So yeah, the grand jury has issued subpoenas in connection with the June 2016 meeting that included Donald Trump's son, his son-in-law, and a Russian lawyer. Two sources told Reuters yesterday signaling an investigation is gathering pace into suspected Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. election. The sources added that Special Counsel Robert Mueller has convened the grand jury investigation in Washington to help examine allegations of Russian interference in the vote. One of the sources said it was assembled in recent weeks. Russia has loomed large over the first six months of Trump's presidency. And the Trump Tower in Manhattan, the Secret Service, has vacated its command post there following a dispute between the government and President Trump's company over the terms of a lease for the space. Previously, the the Secret Service had stationed its command post, which houses supervisors and backup agents on standby in case of an emergency in a Trump Tower unit one floor below the president's apartment. But in early July, the post was relocated to a trailer on the sidewalk. More than 50 floors below, a distance that some security experts worry could hamper the agency that protects the president's home and family. The command, the command post appears unlikely to move any time back into Trump Tower, where the president and his family have rarely gone since moving to the White House. Yesterday, a spokeswoman for the Trump Organization said the government would seek space in another location. And an Air Canada Airbus... Oh my gosh, this is scary. Descended less than 100 feet above planes taxiing next to the runway at SFO, San Francisco International Airport, before pilots abandoned the landing uh, the hap- just before midnight. Um, this was on July 7th, but the pilots lined up and descended on the adjacent taxiway that ran parallel to the runway. On the taxiway were four planes waiting to take off. One of the pilots asked, where is this guy going? At the last second, the Air Canada pilots advanced the plane's thrusters went about 85 feet off the ground to abandon their landing and circled the airport for a safe landing. And this also, as San Francisco experienced a shooting last night at Dolores Park. And finally, if you're in the market for a new unique password, there's a guy named Troy Hunt who says he's a security expert behind Have I Been Pond? Pond? P-W-N-E-D? Website? Oh, password, I think is what that's supposed to be. Uh, Released a searchable tool that contains 306 million previously compromised passwords. 306 million. The tool's database of passwords collected from dozens of data breaches aims to help individuals and companies improve their online security. With data breaches out of your control, it's imperative to choose passwords that can withstand brute force attacks. Ideally, your password should be at least 16 characters... Mixing numbers and symbols with uppercase and lower letters. But it's even the most secure password in the world is useless if it's already accessible in a hacker's toolkit. So this sort of thing is going to become more and more popular as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're reading Mike's Daily Podcast, Summer Podcast for Belly. We have passwords for everything now. And so many ways for hackers to infiltrate our systems. So we need to be careful. That CNET article by Stephen Musel. Hunt, by the way, cautions against using the tool to test passwords you're already actively using, as that exposes another password option to third parties. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Ah. Next show, it's going to be... You really have to... I think for the password to work, you have to be really, really you and pull something out of you and and a really good idea... That can work That something only you know And numbers and symbols that mean something to you only And then don't tell anybody about it Not even when you're married Don't just keep it Keep it to yourself One of the ladies at this thing That I was recording yesterday The single ladies All the single ladies She said In the Bible Because this is a show for a religious station She said In the Bible it says It is a sin to be alone To which I went, ha! Uh, Actually, I went, 
And I said that was Cookie. And I said that's the end of the show Next show it's going to be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman And John Deere the Engineer Enjoy your Friday I will be doing a show on Sunday most likely So I'll talk to you then Possibly I'll have a guest A special guest on that show We'll find out who If not well we won't But then um, enjoy your weekend It's going to be a great one I just know it. I'm going to be positive. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, the end of the show is here, and I forgot to tell you what the podcast picture is. The podcast picture is of Half Moon Bay. I took this picture three years ago. And it's this little spot. It's kind of hard to get to. You have to walk on the beach quite a ways. And I did have Basil the Boxer. And it was a a wonderful day. And Basil said something to the effect of... um, And then we made it to this little spot. So see that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com. And hopefully... We reached a happy ceiling for you. That's the name of the show today is Ceiling. So I had to somehow involve it at the end of this show.